Okay, this is probably the last episode of this run here. Eh. 40 ducats. It's nothing. We're only waiting on a couple of sieges. Siege Ryuku. Siege down here. Declare on these guys, so we really need to siege these guys. Hmm. And then we should finish the game, really. You're still a protectorate. We need to declare on you again. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Miss these rebels popping up. Well. The latest. Well, but if we have to, we will go after them. Shouldn't be too terrible. Great general. What a good air. He can speed up the siege here. It's probably yeah, it's at the max. So the only thing helping is a good general. Which we luckily have at hand right now. Oh glory to us. Treaties vassalize. much as I hate to get more vast that are probably going to be upset with me. Still the best option, I think. <laughs> oh, God. Can I say Gogegesli? One time. Well, I could say Gogegesli at least once. Or well, I could say it twice, like it just did. What do you mean CH becomes H? It doesn't. It's not H, it's H. Like in Swiss German, CH is H. In High German, it's H. And yes, that's how we differentiate between our German and the uh, Standard German. Standard German is called High German, and our German is just called Swiss German. And in school, we learn High German. <laughs> oh yeah, it will make me such a popular freaking YouTuber, especially since I have just have a wonderful, wonderful pronunciation of the CH, since Bernese German is quite a harsh dialect as well. Within the harsh dialects of Swiss German, that is a very harsh, ter harsh one. And so yay, peace! There shall be peace in our time. Peace out, man. Oh, he doesn't want a piece. Maybe you can piece out here. Yes. More land to go. More land to go. More land to go. It's called just German. No, it's high German. You have to differentiate between the dialects, okay? And even within German, you have to di differentiate between Hessian or Westphalian or just the standardized High German. Why do good nights end so fast? Well, it's because when you are entertained, time flies. The problem is, 
then all the nights start ending fast because I'm streaming like every single night therefore every single night is a good night therefore they all end fast damn it I don't want to have a fast life like that that is terrible wait if it's terrible then that would mean it would extend the time again since it's terrible and no longer great By that logic, I'll have a very long life. <laughs> uh. <laughs> to be fair, Schneller Leben is a great song. I love it. How many countries are left? Well, we're currently removing Yarkand, Punjab. We are removing. Ry Ryuku, we are removing Ming. Is there anybody else left? Oh, and we need to re remove, re-remove because he somehow spawned again. This little bastard. Wait, I don't have a truce with him. I do not have a truce with him. It doesn't show me a truce, at least. So declare the war. Re-remove, re-remove the bastard. <laughs> no, stare at the wall, aggressive elk. Stare at the wall and repent. That's what you must do in order to stop having fun. Only repentance can truly stop you from having any sort of fun. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a castle or anything like that. Awesome. Ricking creatures being attracted by the light. Annoying. But it's totally worth it to have the window open right now and have it be cool. And it's gonna be cool when I go to sleep. And it's gonna be cool at night. In the morning, and it's gonna be awesome. Can I next hungry? How many country tag is displayed without it? <laughs> it would probably still be derpy. Maybe they displayed right here. That would be kind of cool. Mm, maybe. Maybe you can spend the last couple of years annexing him. You know, once I'm not down with all the rebels in my vassals and everything. Okay, okay good. We just send a couple of our guys rebel hunting, so that should take care of anything bad happening in Castile, really. What are we doing in here? We won all the battles. Just not getting a lot from sieges yet. Bonfire, Bonfire is my trusty little client state. Named in honor of the great Bonfire. You might have heard of him. The Bonfire, also known as Bonfire SE or Sweden. Every single time the Westphalian cores expire, we get this event. So I doubt that it's actually expanding any starts getting these events it's like yeah support Westphalia support Westphalia why it's so broken it's a bonfire with P <laughs> or you know it's a it's a pun because you see it's like it's like bond like from bonfire and it's pyre like from Empire but it's also like a pyre like, you know, a pyre of wood that you burn. Bonfire triggered. <laughs> uh, bonfires in, 
is in absolute love with it, so there you, there you go. It was a great success in my book. Great success. <sighs> How many times have we gone here? How oh, many freaking times? I spent probably a year or two just staying at 42 percent trying to siege it down. Come on, if you pay attention to it, it's totally gonna succeed. No! You need a better siege leader. Do you have any better siege leaders? I don't think so. Oh, we're not getting a lot of military points. Yes, we are. We just spent them all. Which is the issue here? Just gonna get a new one and roll as many as I need to. In order to get a better siege leader. Just assault. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I don't like assaulting though. I don't like assaulting. Against 5,000 troops. And we do have three breaches, so it should be fine. I hate freaking assaulting, okay? I never use it. I almost never ever assault a fort. Also, our manpower is nothing compared to our actual manpower on the field. Okay, now. The whore. Have we passed on? And I really, really hope that we can. Fully take advantage of him and eat him. Did I get the achievement? I got the achievement a long time ago. I got the achievement on the Ottoman run. I mean, I have one million manpower right now. I have two million troops on the field. Two and a half million, in fact. And you tend to have a million manpower at the end of the game. It's not a hard thing to get. <laughs> uh, and I remind you, how many troops did I have as the Golden Horde? Was it four million? I think I pushed it up to four million, didn't I? I seem to remember to roll around with four million troops in the world. Okay, we sieged Ryuku, and we'll leave Ryuku for last. Punjab, the super piece. No, no, I don't want to do a second war with you. Oh wait, you can just your offer Imperial Protectorate. That way, we don't have to do a second war. I mean, I hate to protect her at him, but I don't want to do a second war. And protectorates do count. Because they're not independent. <laughs> 3 million army is the whole world. Yeah, but it's the whole world in 1803. Remember, like, the entirety of this amount of Europe had a 1 million army. And that was huge. And it's an army for an empire of olden times. It's not, you know, a 3 million army for an... for an empire that's like, you know, this is all Germans and it's all fine and you can levy troops from everywhere. Essentially, it's... Do colonies of PUs count? That is the thing, they might not. Colonies of PUs might not count, so I might not get the achievement here. Certainly. 
Peace up for everything that Yorkin has. Trying to go to Great Britain. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. It took us. What was it? 35 years? I was like, god damn, stupid glitches. It took us about 25 years plus to integrate Byzantium. I don't think it's possible to integrate Great Britain. It wasn't possible because, well. I wanted to integrate them at one point, but then the event happened. I still love calling it the event. And when the event happened, Great Britain broke loose and reset the 50 year timer. And it was so close to the end that we could have started the next M M91, but even then it would have been very doubtful that we can annex his massive, massive size. Like, this is. He has insane amounts of development. Like, that is way more than the 700 we annexed with Great... with... Like, we annexed 700 right here. This is way more than 700. The color warned them and take their colonies. <laughs> oh, God. Korea already occupied. Korea is my little... Um... Protectorate now. Protectorate to them. I'm gonna force vassalize Ming. be a long drano process may but they do have a ton of colonies and one of the big problems is the colonies will break free immediately like these two guys will break free from Britain immediately Britain doesn't have the power to keep the guys I know that because as soon as the they slipped out of PU the 13 colonies declared independence and would have been successful in their war if it wasn't invalidated by being subject of a subject. I might actually be able to declare war now. a much more interesting proposition here what if what if we can make our little colonies declare war for us and his colonies we can't declare him on him directly I could make our colonies declare on his colonies Barely make it, maybe. I'll maybe make it. Just barely. Do it! Maybe.
Support independence. Again, they can't break free. Because they're a subject of a subject, they can't break free at all. It's impossible. even cave in just because of a couple of controlled regular provinces. You know, battle here and there might not hurt. Uh, we are oh, we only at 35. Interesting. So we have a couple of sieges very close. Finishing. And it's also just not fun to play with this much lag. Because right now the lag is terrible. Zoomed. <laughs> you mean zoom out? What does what make sense? They can't declare independence because they're a subject of a subject. I don't know. They also can't can't support their independence because they are a subject of a subject. Actually, we can. How can we? That's weird. It used to say that we can't. <laughs> I wish there was like a colonial subjugation CB that lets you just take the colony as a whole. There should be one. Oh, we can peace out Ming. We are currently just getting them as a vassal. There's a plenty. Now the only thing we're left is Ryuku and we're just gonna annex them. Ryuku is the only free nation left on the planet. Everything else belongs to us. Like yes, even this guy, he is a protectorate of Great Britain. So Ryuku, you held out for long, buddy. You are mine now. And <sighs> Beautiful. Well, Conquest of the world, I don't think that the achievement will pop out. At least we did what it said. There are no more independent nations in the freaking world. When you go to player map mode, it's all our color. I wonder if it's if you could call it a bug. But yes, I'm de definitely waiting until the turn of the month. Nope. We did not get the achievement. Oh well. I just got a CB on somebody. Probably one of my vassals. Should 
Chickasaw. Wait, where's Kiwa? Why the fuck is there still a tribe around? Oh god damn it! Why do you do this to me? Fucking assholes! Stop releasing Kiowa! <sighs> the one nation still exist. Protectorate, colony, vassal, vassal. Colony, colony, vassal, colony, free, free. So I'm pretty sure it should have triggered. Kiowa. Where the f Oh, Chickasaw is down there. Chickasaw is not free. Chickasaw is a protectorate. No, I'm calling it. I'm calling it a bug that it wouldn't work just because of my union's colonies not being mined directly. Because of course the achievement says that it would be done by by not having any independent nations. Well, if a world conquest cannot be achieved just because you do not own the colonies directly, it's kind of weird. You know, discover I mean, I noticed these three in right now. They just popped up, but I don't think they were there when I should have gotten the achievement. I don't think any of them were there. I can give this one to Newfoundland and... Oh, you can't really keep any of these. We can't give them away, I don't think. What's your chance to inherit them? Seeing how I have one time, I don't... One freaking... 20 years and probably no thing. Um, yeah, union since 41. So we should have a chance to inherit them. You country. No, not my country. Ah, wait, I can watch it by just looking at their freaking thing here. It's negative 56. <laughs> I'm Kyo and Jayen are free nations now. The only ones in the world. I'm a bad colonist. <laughs> it's not like I was actually playing the colonial game. At all. That's one reason why Spain is kind of a great one for world conquest. Because they can ensure that the new world is properly Spanish. Five to plus kill. <laughs> that would be great. so easy to conquer yes but it's not that easy to conquer them away from you know, people like the 13 colonies or from our
I'm number one, of course. Who would have thought I'm number one in the world? Like, look at the ledger for score comparison, because... No, how big is my dick? Well, it's not that big, because... This guy is almost keeping up with me, but that's because he's second, so... He's second in everything, therefore, he makes almost nearly as many points. Despite our rating being, you know, astronomically higher. That hungry. Still, I'm gonna try to re annex these guys. I'm gonna draw these guys a negative three stability now. Nope. Yeah, let's offer any stability hit. Good. <laughs> yeah, I mean Castile and Portugal have a very big advantage, especially Castile. If you can get some PUs early, like maybe get a PU with Britain, maybe get one with France, maybe get one with Austria. You know, you have your choices, just Royal Mary everybody. Go to war with Portugal, eat half of Portugal, force vassalize Portugal, feed them their course back, let them colonize as well as you colonize, and then you can just not go wherever they go. And have huge colonies and have a vassal which also gets pretty big colonies. Maybe not huge. Pretty decently big. Main to vassal. Main to vassal. Protectorate. Oh, 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 Ming wants to break free, doesn't he? Well, I will not let you. <laughs> if a vassal has, like, many troops in his soil, he should just have, like, a negative, I don't know, a hundred. Like, if you actually have troops in your vassal soil, you should not have a ton of Liberty Desire. <laughs> oh, just become Peace Bane, get a couple of unions, conquer the new world, then become the Emperor. Via, I don't know, maybe they... Maybe you can do something with the religious wars, maybe even do something abhor abhorrent, like turning Protestant just to become Emperor. Did it start as Austria? Yes, I did. It did indeed start as Austria. Conversion successful, conversion successful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Did they nerf AE in the live version of 1.13? Yes, they did. They did nerfed it hard, at least for small nations. When you're bigger, it will come worse. So they didn't really make, you know, Big Blue Blob that much easier. Because you actually, you know, lead to eat some smaller nations. And you gain a ton of AU from that. <laughs> well, I'm probably not good enough for World Conquest, at least when it comes to the actual achievement. But you can always get it later. There will be World Conquests later. And even if we don't get it here, we have been a good experience and we know now how we need to do it in terms of colonies. That is, if it doesn't pop up right away. National Unrest guy. I love it. I 
love. National Unrest, guys. What do you mean, what campaign? <laughs> well, I'm not sure which campaign to do yet. One com I'm still kind of looking forward to the mine campaign, but I had three people demand that I do a Switzerland campaign, so I might do that. I'm already at War with Kiowa. You not see that I'm on War with Kiowa. Just waiting for the capital to fall. Get over there. Destroying their army might be enough. You're still protected, right? Yes. So, this is indeed the entire world, but it appears that his colonies do not count. But I do want to see though. Oh, I want it. Damn it. We have the same fucking overlord. Yes, everybody. They don't count for me. But we have the same fucking overlord. Let's check the letter again. With all the nations in the world. With France. Oh, never mind. That's with all the nations that ever existed. Country. Subject, subject. Subject, 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 They're all my subjects. They're all my freaking subject. Frankish Empire 2.0. Damn it! Stop spitting them out. It's annoying. This pesky. Is not what a proper vassal is supposed to do. Well, we had the entire world. That's annoying because they can't freaking... Keep on releasing them because we can't freaking get them. Well... Can declare them again. I'm declaring them again and making protectorates instead. That will work. <laughs> I know they don't have coring range. I mean, they should have because it's in their freaking colonial region, so they should be able to core anything. In my opinion. But we can just turn them into protectorates. But I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is literally the colonies of our PU. And I'm not gonna be able to finish that off. I mean, I know that this is very, very little, but come on, how much, how much war score would that be? Yeah, <laughs> that's more than two wars. Attack Great Britain. 
I don't think so. I think I'm fine knowing that I did a world conquest and end this campaign somewhere around here. Try to support independence. No. <laughs> no diplomats send. Even if I support independence, I don't think that they can declare. I'm pretty damn sure that they are incapable of declaring. Plus, we would have to eat both Castile and England because Castile also has colonies. Okay, no, it's probably not. Oh well. I should have integrated them, yes, but it wasn't possible. Because of the 50 year turn timer. There was no way that I could have integrated Great Britain. Because Great Britain had another 50 year turn timer after they broke free. But it will be a useful note for the next World Conquest, which will surely be coming. It's probably going to be with a much more difficult nation, and we'll get it eventually. It's my protectorate. Well, at least it should be. What? Oh, he westernized the bastard. The bastard actually westernized. When did that happen? <sighs> used to be my protectorate. Oh well. Let's get him in the fold again. I doubt that he was the problem though. Because there's multiple threats I'd say vassals of vassals don't count. Or subjects of subjects I should say. No vassal of vassal. Just subjects of subjects don't count. I can try. I can try for sure. Okay, now we're going to enforce protectorate on them. So I don't think that would have happened before. Hmm. God damn stupid bug.
And I knew was my protectorate because we got them from... They were a protectorate of Wu and when he vassalized Wu we got control over them. Even if these break free, they will go to those nations. Hey, more conversions! More! Have you eradicated the last of the Catholics yet? Oh my god, there's no more Catholic provinces. Wait, is there? Never mind, there's two left. Damn it! <laughs> you know the challenge for me to beat? That well, can be enough of a challenge, can't it? Oh, ships lost, damn it. We lost ships somewhere. We lost ships somewhere. We lost ships. Welcome, Mexaco. We are currently very, very distressed at the fact that we can't get this world conquest to work. Yes, I know. What a tragedy. Because our vassals, of course, have colonies and our PUs have colonies, so they don't count. Okay, that's definitely the whole world. Ah, just look at it, it's, it's definitely world conquest. I don't care what you say game, this is a world conquest. Look at it. It all bears my name. All of this is my colors. It bears the name of no one. The world is no one's oyster. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, can we not break a union? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's actually no break union option. <laughs> oh, but you deserved it. That almost sounds like... You say I deserved from you to tell me I told you so. But it's alright. We did a freaking world conquest, guys. Wait, the f oh, it's Great Britain. We did a freaking world conquest. Even, even if the game doesn't give us the achievement, this is still a freaking world conquest. There's no independent nation left in the world other than us. Great Britain is our little vassal. All of these guys are Britain's little toys. How long would it take to integrate? I don't know. I would have to put up, push up their... <laughs> he hates me? I'm oh, supporting independence of subjects. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hate me less now. Please. 
che ecco You mean break royal marriage? We can't attack him because he's our union partner and we can't break the union. Unless our queen dies, we can't break the union. So that would be very good luck. We would have to tank the opinion and then... I mean, if we tanked the opinion of him and then our queen died... But that would have to be very lucky, because it's a queen. It's a queen, and she's not that old yet. And queens in this game live forever. <laughs> but I can see how long it would take. And it will probably be less than everybody would think. I would think it's probably less than five years. Gift. <laughs> make queen into an admiral, let her sink. You can't put it... You can't make a queen into an admiral, can you? No. That would be great if you could like use them as admirals as well. Why not? Why can you make can't you make a king into an admiral? <laughs> Why? Why can they only be on the battlefield? Oh, because on the battlefield they don't do shit anyways. Oh, okay. Rebel suppression. Yes. What is it, Cook? <laughs> My stupid dirt moment, or I'm just like, wait, can you make her? No. No, no, stop derping so hard. You just derped so hard you hurt a little child with it. Eighty-one. Yeah, let's go up. Five hundred. There we go. Subsidize him. I should free nations. <laughs> so what's my income? We're currently making a thousand three hundred and sixty ducats each and every single month. We're spending eight hundred of it. We're currently spending 140 on Diplo expenses, namely subsidizing Great Britain. The fuck? Bad monarch, that must have been an event. Because my monarch is amazing. Not given occupied course of claims. Come on, you're a freaking bass, you shouldn't get that shit. <laughs> what do you mean, 5,000 gold you died inside? You realize that I can throw money around however I want. There's literally too much money in my empire. Now we could just start creating some more units because we can. Start annexing vassals because we can. Annex the vassal, here. You'll be done in... 1845. Not too long, right? <laughs> Uh, you think so? They probably have like a negative a thousand. You know, we are trying to get rid of negative freaking six hundred. 
and 39. So you could say to hate me a little bit. You wouldn't be completely wrong with that assessment. Yeah, yeah. Push relations up. We can get more points. In order to next faster. Dun dun dun. Our dipper up is probably still lowered from having a next or subject over here. What is our dipper up currently? Our dipper up is only five over extension. Okay, our next subject is still affecting us. And bad reputation. How oh, dare they? We are already using a Diplo Advisor. And how about Great Britain? How long would they take? Well, there's another issue where colonies don't also don't always transfer to you. Did I activate my next policy? Yes, I did. My next policy has been active for like, since I annexed Byzantium, I haven't taken it off. It's probably not even t been 10 years, yeah. I just want to see how long it would take. It'd probably be ridiculous and having a ridiculous amount of base tax. Also can't tell for axis can we? <laughs> Who did I start out as? I started as Austria. I started as the Austrian menace. <laughs> Fucking insects. Just went to the store though and bought myself some tasty, tasty food, so dinner will be awesome tonight. And I'm very, very excited for tomorrow because it's going to be the last chapter of The Witcher 2 that we'll be playing. All they have is islands. <laughs> yeah, they only have like northern France, including Paris. As well as some excessively high. Oh, oh we're gonna know. So Castile is about thirty-five hundred. I, 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 you always hate when the game doesn't give you information, like the integration cost. Why would you not see it before your relations are up? Why? Just tell me the freaking integration cost when I hover over it, and then tell me why I can't do it. But just give me the information. Don't hide it. Hidden information is annoying. <laughs> You'll see why that will be impossible because Great Britain is going to be even longer. They'll not be annexable within 13 years. Absolutely not. I would be absolutely amazed if they would be. Not that and really, you're not gonna let me even look at it. Okay, does not actually show up until thirty-eight. Not actually that bad. It's only thirty-one years. They're actually cheaper than Castile, huh? <laughs> uh, they're actually cheaper than Castile, but they're they're also cheaper than 
your friend on here was. Would have that been possible? No, 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 it wouldn't have been. The earliest we could have had him in next, after we lost him the first time, would have been 1830. <laughs> no diplomat can't tell how long. Didn't even tell me how long before we freaking clicked the button to annex him. Anyways, as you might see, it is not possible at all. And that will be it for this run, I think. We do have the entire world. The only thing we're doing now is like hunting rebels, but we can just automate that because we have so many troops. We have an impressive 150k units. We have 126k in the bank. <laughs> more diplo rep. Can you get more? Are you insane? We already have all the diplo ideas. We have the diplo rep guy. Where did they do it? <laughs> I assumed they were going to be a problem, but I also assumed that it wasn't going to happen anyways. Three points wouldn't make the difference we need. Also, there's no way that I could have annexed Castile and Great Britain within the time frame. Got the achievement now? No. I do not. Policies? I don't have any, all the policies enabled. That's true. Probably get a rep policy. Nope. No diplo rep policies. Available. Well, actually, there's one. Yes, you can spend a military point on diplomacy. Just break relations. We can't. Great Britain isn't a vassal. Great Britain is a um a union. There's no way of breaking relations with them. Two of them? What else do we have? We have a relations one, but not a diplo rep one. Oh, well, never mind, there's one other one. Didn't see that one. Oh, oh, two diplo rep. It's integration time now. Oh, oh, it came down to 32. We only need to shave off 11 more years. <laughs> uh. He has realized that some of his colonies will probably break free upon an annexation because they were colonies before we had him as a subject. And that uh, Castile, well, we can't. We can't. It's just as simple as that. We can't annex him even if we try to go war after war after war. It's just too much. How long until the negative three ends? Oh god. <laughs> uh, where's the next subject? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Bad reputation ends in 1812, so five years. And 1811, the next subject ends. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you guys really, really want to make this happen, don't you? I already have that one. You mean the Vassal Integration Act? There's another one that would reduce it by 10, but for that we need plutocratic ideas, which we don't have. Hmm. Let some rebels win.
possible. I doubt it. I can try it. I highly doubt it's possibility, but it will indulge you guys. Because you're super supportive. Also have some non corrible provinces. Can I sell this? I'll probably sell it to Ming. I know Ming is uppity, but they still. I mean, even with a hundred. hundred, you know. liberty desire, they're still not gonna declare independence if it's suicide. And it is! Yay! Yay for suicide. Do I have to annex Castile too? Yes, I do. Can I support rebels? I could. Well, for that I would need... Diplomats. If I just break their vassalization, I could... Start out by declaring on some of their colonies. They're still bankrupt. <laughs> Holy shit! They're bankrupt again! We gave them 10... Like... What was it? 10 years ago we gave them 10,000 freaking ducats. And they managed to squander it all. While freaking colonizing through bankruptcy. And the AI is so broken that they still gain men. With negative 35 a year. Let's do the math. 35%? No, they shouldn't be gaining. They should be losing. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have to annex Castile myself. I could just create client states down here. Well, yeah. I would have to get down here. Maybe even annex to down here. And then start a couple of client states and feed them. That's how you would do it. Goodbye, prestige. Hey, look, we have too many points. Boom. Even more money. Support the rebels, maybe. I mean, if I support rebels, I can only support like one thing of rebels, so. Okay, Brazil, do you have any cores or claims? You do. Good job. Job. One thing that I never used this campaign, but it would be really fun to use as Castile, is to do a little bit of colonial conflict. Imperial Brazil. <laughs> uh. The plot is all on his own. I wish I could support or so dissidents right now. I could support some rebels. Walter, 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 Walter. 
Sub cheap. Oh, we spent so much time on him. And I still doubt that we can actually do the whole thing. And we're gaining. What is it? We're gaining enough to integrate for 11 right now. That's pretty damn impressive. You yeah, have some territory in the south. And I can... Eat this. So a bunch of Castilian land over here as well. Oh god. All the islands. I would only have to siege the ones that have forts on them, which is essentially none. Or the ones that have rebels. Well. Actually. If they get small enough, we can just re them, of course. We don't even have to siege them to rebel stuff and such. We just vassalize them again. After their colony's gone. Which I think is fairly likely. I mean, our colony should win. Not I could declare on his colony, but then he comes in, of course. And we'd be truce breaking right now. <laughs> believe. I do not believe as much as you guys do. Just for the record, I just do not believe as much as you guys do. I would have to shave like I would have to like double my production of points. Guys, I would literally have to double my production of points. I'm willing to take the stab it. I will have to. Well, that's the next, not small enough. That's a problem. Even the smallest ones, they would still be a fair chunk. And, you know, some of them hate me. Not really enough to free up a significant amount of points. We're already focusing in on these points. Take a stab it. I'm not willing to take that stab it, I think. I need to lower the truth slightly. Delhi's a vassal, yes. But he hates my guts, so I couldn't potentially get him up, no. Maybe I could integrate by or Hungary, but no. That is not possible either. Come on, Brazil. You wipe his army? I hope you wiped his army. 
What are the reps doing? He's still enduring bankruptcy, so he wouldn't be a challenge to fight. His rebels would be the bigger challenge. What's next on the campaign train? Well, I was thinking maybe a Mayan campaign. Like, of the campaigns I want to do the most, the Mayan one is on the top of my list. Well, the Incan one would have been on the top of my list, but Shinner's doing that that one <laughs> well I am recruiting quite a bit and I did send over a lot of troops oh wait there's a lot of guys that we need to stop here <laughs> amass a lot of troops and then just like stacks of hundreds of thousands are right here because they want to rebel hunt because when they set the routing order there were a rooting order, they were like, yeah, there's rebels over here, like, totally. We're also just creating more. Oh, he already finished all the construction, I guess. More than... More! 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 <laughs> Another 180,000 troops. Hey there, make me sad. Please make me happy. We can probably get some more. I'll like, send those troops over. Another hundred thousand. Is there even an achievement? I don't think so. Well, there might be the generic reform your religion one. Is there one? The thing is, I wanted to try something with the Mayans. You know how you can't lose cores if you are the primary primary nation of that culture? So what if you culture convert the territory that you take? Can you then not lose your cores? Which would mean that you could do it in... Well, the first reform would come late. But then the next reforms would be super quick because you just have to wait until the truce is up and then you get it. <laughs> Let's talk half the world to some rebels. Yeah. And you know the worst part about it? As soon as they went there, even if the rebels are, you know, the rebels were done like a hundred years ago, then they just walked back through half the world. So rebel hunting is absolute garbage. Uh, Incan Sun God would be so great. <laughs> well, and the one that's most requested would be Switzer Lake, like a Switzer Lake campaign. Our Manchurian candidate would be so cool. I would love a Manchurian candidate. Who wouldn't love to play with the best ideas in the game? You never played Italy? I have formed Italy before. But that was before the days of Iron Man and such. You must remember, I'm an old E4 player. I have played this game on and off. Since the beginning. <laughs> Two Switzer Lake. Our Notch campaign, our Jihad campaign would also be kind of cool. <laughs> I don't even have a traditional player and we didn't get this one because we weren't Austria anymore. Damn it! So this achievement run, we got zero out of the achievements we wanted. Oh no 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 Imperial Brazil. That will not do. We only took a little bit of land. That's not enough. Can we tell him to go to war against the same subject again?
Damn it. I guess it could support your independence. Join their war? Why didn't we join the war? Okay. <laughs> we can declare on him now. We could fast like somebody in the world? What? No, we can't. What? What is this magic? You could vassalize a nation in a new world? Oh, who cares? Just declare on them. I don't have to win their independence from this disheveled mess. I don't know what's going to happen. We are going to annex them while they're in their independence war. call me in apparently not and apparently if they don't call me in they don't get an alliance it might be because I have a truce with Castile but I find it very very hilarious wait what somebody got free oh yow yow <laughs> I'm just gonna declare war on every single little piece that breaks free off of him. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh god, no. Stop it. Run away. Why are you doing this? Damn it, does that have some rebel hunters that are coming down here? No, 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 no! Damn it, my rebel hunters are too good! You're going into an other country that we don't even have access to? Why do you have access here? You should not have access. Is it because of the war? No. You don't have access! Why can we walk in here? Game is broken, rebel hunting armies are broken. I should wait. Sure I should. But I'm impatient, so fuck it. If you go to war with Castile this way, then so be it. There's gonna be enough pieces, bits and pieces breaking off Castile here. It wasn't a PU, it was a... I can't do it. Unless we get like insanely lucky and we get a event. If you get an event on... For the annexation... Then we can do it. But otherwise we are so screwed. At least that's my assessment of the situation. Differ if you wish.
is running out again. 11 capital We can hopefully get him even quicker. Oh! Well, apparently, there were a lot of true units in air. Oh well, let's try again. We have 11 years left, and we only have 11% here. Try to get rid of overextension? I can't try. The problem is, well, one of these provinces. Well, we need to colonize next to it. But I'd much rather colonize right here. With any luck, I'm able to, we'll be able to push this colony. Really? We're finished already? so quickly. It's insane. I want to get this one as quickly as possible. Is there a policy to can so I can get Diplorep? I already got policies for Diplorep. We're spending quite a few points on them. Pushed it up to seven. We can get four more. Currently still gaining 11 freaking Diplo points. really kind of praying for an event that there's a possible event that we could get which an lowers the annexation cost by another 15% and if we get that then well then we're golden otherwise we might have a huge issue <laughs> yes, subjects of subjects don't count. Oh, that's true. Certainly eat all of this still. 
I love that I got rid of this very annoying tiny reach in here that they used to have. There we go. No more of that crap. And maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we should do that. I mean, it's only a one point swing, I think. Or is it? Is it a one point swing or is it a two point swing? Same religion. Yeah, but it's a one point swing, but you're right. I should have done that from the start. Go to the subjects tab. Subject interaction, Great Britain. No! <laughs> uh, I should have enforced culture earlier then. Because we're not going to get 900 freaking points. <laughs> well, that would have been great. Except it's impossible. And we absolutely need those 600 points that we have stored up. Like without those stored up points, we are we would we're definitely not gonna make it. <laughs> that happens all the time. Um also Narhalis, the trading does not actually like the trading bonus, you don't get it from your provinces. You get trading bonuses from actually being the trade leader, not production leader. So it can be that you have no slave provinces, but because somebody along your trade route has slave provinces, you get the leadership in it. <laughs> it's gonna finish 1930 at this rate. We're gonna speed up the rate considerably. Like. And 1811, we're gonna speed it up by, what was it, three? Or three Diplo rep, so that'd be more than three, I guess. Still, it's impossible. I'm telling you, it's impossible. Maybe it would have been possible if, if I would have known, maybe I should have, I should have annexed them right as soon as possible, you know, maybe even delay the war versus Ming in order to just get the perfect timing in, what is it? It would be 1791 where we could have started. So then it would have been possible, I think. What do you do, what do, you do with Castillo? Well, the plan so far is to A, make sure that they fall apart nicely and then B, Go toward a bunch of donations that fall out. Stand particularist, stand particularist. And then we will eat the nations that fall out, slash make client states with them. Maybe one or two big ones. Maybe we should declare on them right away. We hmm. Hmm. Yeah, actually. Maybe I should white piece them right now. I mean these two guys, I mean. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe could, you know, declare on everything that falls out, including Castile. In 1915. And then hopefully... That would be good enough so we could do a lot of. Yeah, okay. I like it. So for peace. Sorry that I have to do this, but if I stay at war with them, I will gain overextension or at least a lot of war exhaustion during a period where I cannot really afford it. She didn't plan that far ahead. But if I white piece them now, I can go to war against them again. 
like all of these little guys and hopefully overrun them within a few years, which is most likely possible since they have very few castles. Still need to take Great Britain's colony? Well, that's impossible. That's just ridiculously impossible. If I can't get the colonies through Great Britain's annexation, then that's impossible. I mean, it's gonna be impossible anyways. Like, I, and I cannot possibly annex Great Britain. It's just as simple as that, I can't. I'm just continuing this for fun, essentially. Just do it. <laughs> uh, we cannot declare on Great Britain's colonies. We cannot make them declare independence. Because you can support their independence, but they're not capable of getting independence because they're subjects of subjects. I don't know why it's that way, but it appears to be because the 13 colonies immediately had to peace out as soon as Great Britain was our subject. Like, immediately. An, an immediate white piece. And when we supported their independence, they didn't do anything. And support independence from us should mean that they... Go to war like this. What do you mean? I can declare war on them? Because I'm pretty sure I can't. And if you mean that my vassals can declare war on, or my guys can declare war on them, well, guess what? The answer to that is also a no. I mean, even if I was a piece, I could click on it and be like, oh, they have claims there, and then it is subject of the same overlord. Who we'll come up? Anyways, let them spawn. Steel is still bankrupt, or is bankrupt again, which is hilarious. Because we literally gave them 10,000 ducats. Anyway, so 1850 at the latest, we want to. God damn it. That's from all of our units walking through uncolonized land. Also, we should probably get rid of those guys. We do have 90,000 here. That seems like an exquisitely bad idea. Concept staying excellent, except it's not the one we need. The one we need is down here. Also, do we already have the plus for Great Britain now? Still only at 11. What is it exactly? Not July. Okay, cool. Next month. Next month it should increase. By 4, I think. Is this a mod? No, it's not. It's vanilla. It's as vanilla as it gets. <laughs> well, the problem is I can't get rid of this overextension. There's one province right here that I cannot sell to anybody. I guess I could create a nation out of it. Also, I should really just... I'll just white piece. White piece him because we need to declare on him later again. The problem is if we do it now, we'll have... We'll suffer the overextension. So, no, we cannot do it now. We have to do it later and do a massive piece out all at once. So, how are we doing now?
Now we're spending 14 points. What's the other one? What's the other... Un oh yeah, the Underarg Corrible Province is up here. Well, maybe I could retract my colonist again? I, mean, I really want the colonist there, but... I can't until we get... If I send him up there, maybe? Yeah, those fuckers had to migrate. Why can't I sell that? Well, because it's not accepted culture. At least I tried to sell it and... Take it now? They fucking take it now! God damn it! They wouldn't take it ever! I tried like three times to get it, sell it to them. Well, now that's another one. But we're still missing that freaking. Can we sell this? I don't think anybody would take it. Province good. You dicky. We could release a vassal, but that would be stupid. Need more Prussia. Any country in Europe can be revolutionary? Yes. across the border. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Conquer Tuat, what? We had a mission to conquer Tuat? Tuat? Also Kabu's bond, very nice. Lesser me. Lesser HRV land is bad land. <laughs> uh, Kabu used to own everything down here. Takbon, and I think that's the end of the Castilian peasants. How much land do you have left? Yes! Steel is totally vassalizable. All these guys are totally edible. Like, I don't mind vassalizing Castile again. So I'm thinking it's time to attack him. Well, maybe. <laughs> You're only making negative three. It's not bad, not bad. And let's just check the policies again, but I don't think there's another one that adds anything that we need right now. There's a diplomat, there's missionary strength, there's income from vassals. I don't know if you would have finished any of these, there would be settler chance and all of that. Diplo relations, I mean diplo relations would be great. Finish defensive ideas. You can finish defensive ideas. I never really use policies, but I guess using endgame military policies could avoid all the points loss and could invest them a bit more well, wholesomely. Because diplomatic relations is actually not that bad right now. 
That gives us one Diplo power, meaning those 600 points will probably not run out. And we'll gain another one. <laughs> 26. In two years we'll gain another point. A month, but I don't still don't think it's possible. Okay, should I attack them right now? Should I wait a little bit? <laughs> what about England? England is being annexed, but they're not very far. They're only at 20% right now. And we have already been at it for four years. Now just hear me out everybody, just hear me out. Revassalize Castile. Because Castile doesn't have any more colonies. I mean there's a little try here. But it's only like, oh crap, that's almost four pro five provinces. Never mind, it is. Australia, damn it. Well we can eat that land, we can eat that land. We can vassalize Castile and eat that land over there. Need to take the land away from him. Imperial Australia, you know what you have to do, right? Well, we have some of our own troops to do it as well. Okay. Let's move in, boys. He is still. Oh, he should still be bankrupt because he didn't go bankrupt that long ago. I cannot tell. Oh, yeah, that's right. it's a little bit far away. Pfft, so what? For Jimmy Chungus! Drop, oh no, stability dropped. Oh wait, we have a plenty of freaking admin points. So what is the plan now? The plan now is to revassalize Castile. <laughs> if at all possible. If you can do it within two years. Bring this easiest nation to play? Probably. It's actually not a huge nation. Which makes it easier on you as a human player. So I would believe it. I would believe it. Where did your capital go? God damn it, Castile. I want to see where your capital is. Did you move it back to Europe? Yes, you moved it um, back to Europe. Put it up here. Shit, we don't have enough units. There's only one option. This European land must be taken. Just send in a swarm of freaking units. To be fair, forming the Netherlands is a huge perk as Burgundy. On the other hand, I like Burgundy, Burgundian ideas a lot. Like, I absolutely love Burgundian ideas. Best needs to be taught a lesson. For example, how to be freaking bankrupt. 
So let's go and bankrupt Castile. Oh, not Castile. Um, let's go and bankrupt our good friend Great Britain. the menu the fuck is wrong give me the fucking menu this one worked fine no oh. <laughs> stop patrolling Wait, it just patrols randomly if you click start patrolling? Oh well. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Never mind, everybody. Never mind. English Channel. Still 600 chips in the English Channel. That's what our percentage like go from 7% to like 60 or 70. <laughs> uh, I'm tired, okay? I've been playing all day. Well, except, you know, Two hours that I was away. That I said was one hour, but it was actually two. Or even more. <laughs> I'm still sorry, okay? Hump Diplo. <laughs> still, there should be one more incoming this year. Like one more increase because the bad Diplo goes away. Bad rep. In September of this year. Arr, attack him. Six ducats. That's well, gonna go. Up. But wait, there is more. There is more. Yes. If you wouldn't believe it, there is more. Oh, holy crap, I got 300 followers! Yes! Finally! I mean, it was it, it's a day late. I, I hope to reach it by the end of the week. As opposed, you know, the beginning of this week. But it's fine! It's absolutely fine. I'm not mad at all. I'm just slightly disappointed at the performance. Let's see. We need to do two things. Make them our vassal. We need to take all of their provinces over here. And see where I'm going here? Just, just follow me here. So if we revassalize Castile, which we can, we can absolutely feed him the rest of this land again. We didn't just, you know, just go to war with everybody down there, feed him all of this land, no problem, and take none of the overextension ourselves, and not have the problem of having four or five vassals, but only one vassal that can take it all at once. But that's my thinking. Plus, we don't have to deal with, you know, coring and giving stuff like over here to our vassals. What? Oh, 
he's still not there. It's important to finish vassals at the same time. It's not important to start them at the same time. It's important to finish them at the same time. So plan ahead for that. If you want to do a double annexation, it's crucial that you do it within a couple of months. But you do have some leeway because you don't have to click the penalty right away. And as long as you don't click the penalty from annex annexing, you don't actually get it. Most development first? Certainly, yes. Well, that depends, actually. You also have to look for culture and religion. So it might be that you have a less developed, pro less developed um, vassal, but he is not your religion, not your culture. Which could mean that you need to start with the more developed one first. Because of, especially early game, it makes a huge difference. How long do decisions stay unclicked? I think they stay the entire freaking game. Or you mean like the you mean the events? Well, I, I'm not sure actually. It seemed to heavily depend on the thing. Like sometimes they click within one month, sometimes they click within three, or sometimes it's like six. And I'm really not sure on that one. I mean, there's two sides to the coin. The earlier you click it, the earlier the 10 years are over. But, of course, it, the 10 years don't matter if you do vassal annexation cycles correctly. And if you have enough diplomats, which in the new patch you probably should have. Especially when you can form a kingdom. Then you can do easy annexations, annexation cycles, which you can even do three at a time. Which would be awesome. an army somewhere. Possibly attack here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cannons there, which is also cool. <laughs> India, welcome, welcome. Now you just went to the wrong province, but that's fine. I'll probably scoot over to the capital afterwards, which could give us a little bit of a better bonus, I think. Since he has a two siege general. Come on, just go to the freaking capital. Still cannot get a 
can potentially get another colony. So I don't feel insecure about vassalizing them again. At least after we get the freaking colony. September, are you next thing at 15 now? Where is it? 24. Next thing at 50 now, and the year is 25. 1825, and I don't know how I would speed it up anymore. If this guy finally arrives. But we need to finish the colony before we can do anything about it. <gasps> no, we don't! Yes. So in two years, there will be another point. But only one. Looks very grim, everyone. It looks very, very grim. Okay. Let's see if we can piece him out for what we want. No, not quite. It will be very soon to eat all of Terra Australia. There's almost nothing. What's my force limit? <laughs> uh, close to 3 million. And that's without force limit buildings. Like, I could add some more. I mean, maybe there's some in my country because of, you know. Other nations and such that we have absorbed, which built those buildings. And I don't generally destroy any buildings. That just, you know, I get for free. Because I love freebies. Those huge donations. Well, so how much are we actually making now here? <laughs> we take half the money. What? Why did it just drop? Where did my navy go? How would the name go out of range? I mean, they're just going for the English Channel, right? 600 freaking trade ships in the English Channel. Oh, come on. Stop being such a wuss. Accept your fate. God, I'm gonna have like ten armies go up there. Diplo rep event, come on. Diplo annexation event, I really want. Those fifth if we got the fifteen percent right now. That would be insane, because 15% on this is not 
Like, because this is not 100% that we are paying right now, it's far less than 100%. How much are we paying? You're paying 40%, so 15% of this would nearly be half. Would slash it down to like 2 or 1 8 or something like that. Because we'd only be paying 25% anymore out of the hole instead of 40. That event would be absolutely insane. I actually want to see the likelihood of it. I wonder what the algorithms for that event is. You can make it more likely. Mass Integration Act. There would be a couple of cool things like Plutocratic and Influence, which would be another 10%. Admin efficiency also lowers annexation cost? Really? That's probably not in in this patch, is it? I'm pretty sure it's not in this patch. Otherwise, that costs less. Holy crap, negative 20, 40, and 60% from admin technology? Administrative efficiency? That's in the new patch, right? Holy crap! So annexing vassals got buffed massively. Holy shit, if, if this was the beta, or not the beta patch, if this was 1.13, we would have this, no problem. Holy crap. Yeah, <laughs> what's my chance of inheritance right now? It's actually 37%, not bad. Still, integrating and vassal annexation got buffed like nothing before. Well, here in the wiki it says that admin efficiency lowers it by 20, 40, or 60%. Like, going up. By admin efficiency, which now has three levels, I think, right? But I don't think that it works that way, or it works that way in this patch. Technology level 17, 23, and 27 increase it. Which, I mean, right now we would be paying, we have the 40% reduction, or the 60% reduction, so we would be paying less. We will be paying 12.25% of their total cost. Damn it. <laughs> to be fair, this world conquest seems like it would be so easy in the new patch. Holy crap, like the new patch would make, would make this one even easier. Because you have that initial AE limit, so this is no, like, eating the Pope is no problem for you. No, it might be because you're big that it's gonna be slight, a slight problem, but it's not gonna be a big problem with the high limit. And of course being Austria, the high reduction rate is very great with a high limit, or works together very well. I love how the numbers just 
They're too big. They're too big, man. They can't handle two million infantry. The box is too small. Okay, cool. So let's just make sure we are taking... Oh, no, 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 no. Taking all of his land, so he doesn't have enough anymore to create a new colony. Two... Three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he could, in theory, create a new colony, but it's very unlikely that he would. I can risk it and update my game. It doesn't work. It corrupts the save files. They're not compatible. Okay, we've Castile as a vassal again. I have some very expensive colony, but who cares? We're making tons of money. And now, on to destroying the rest of Africa. British Louisiana got independent. What do you mean, British Louisiana? There's no British Louisiana. Oh wait, there is. But it's not an independent nation, is it? Colony, colony, colony. <gasps> wait, what? The 13 colonies got independence. What? No, it's a colony. But somehow it's still a duchy? What? What's going on, game? It's a duchy colony. Sure, I'll cope with them all. We'll just eat them anyways. We'll run in and destroy Africa. All in one fell swoop. Really? Are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Combat Pillow said that the old saves were corrupt that he had. And it makes sense because they changed a ton of things. Okay, cool. Already most of Africa in. Ray Rumble. Just wait. Just wait and move in. Go ahead and full siege Africa. <laughs> hmm. Wait, so how do you move your saves down from the cloud? I mean, it's an Iron Man save. But it would matter quite a lot. 
that would make a huge difference then. On the other hand, we still have the problem of his colonies. And that's not going away. Molly came in as well now, and Katsina came in. Cool. Think I inherit their colonies? Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Well, okay, I guess I can try to migrate my save. So how do you do it? So let's just update right now. I mean, we're way over time anyways. And I, I'm very curious now. I wanted to give up this game and I'm probably gonna edit this video heavily. But it's not going to happen right here. Like, if you don't migrate to the new patch, it's not going to happen. For one single reason. We can't get the Diplo power. Just can't do it. Go away. Um, where was it? Where do I have? Yep. Where can I access them in the cloud? I don't even know. Can I access it from the game itself? Okay, I will have to follow this. God damn it. No, oh, it's just. Post local files because that makes it slightly easier, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In this team one? No. There we go. Oh god. Are you sure that's gonna work though also? Yes, this one is the Pax Austria one. Oh, never mind, this one is it. The cheating European Rosales one. Oh, 
Oh god. Here, stop lagging. Oh god damn it, why would you be lagging right now, computer? Stop it. Kicked everybody else out of here, but I did the same. What? <laughs> damn it, Windows Explorer. It crashed. Crashed and I don't think it actually copied the file over like I wanted it to. Damn it. So that sucks. User data. Okay, cool. Now it copied over. Of course. Not stopped out of betas. Wait, where are the regular saves still? Come on, believe. Believe in this experiment! And yes, this is totally European Rosales he right now. If you're just joining, we are trying to fix a run of mine. So wait. Where do I put the games? Where, where do I put the save file? I don't even know where the local save files are. Wait, they're not in the games thing. They're also somewhere. They're also in the user data, aren't they? Oh god. I, I hate to ask for help again for my incompetence of finding the freaking save files. Okay. That's easy enough then. No. God damn it. Go away. Go away, Windows Store. I don't want to. Thank you. Save games. There we go. Drop my Pax Austria in here. Okay, let's see. I mean, maybe we won't get the achievement either, but. Because <laughs> I doubt Iron Man still works. Yeah, I remember something like that because I've used the, the thing before to like save some save files because I routinely mess up my computer and just completely <laughs> wreck it. But We are the French retreat is what we do, we do. <laughs> what do you mean French inheritance? Since I'm Swiss, there's no French inheritance in Switzerland. We are goddamn independent mountain people from the hills. Don't you model our French speaking brethren, the Romanche. Actually, not the Romanche. I kind of, if you size it.
this and car for Well, it works. I'm not sure if it's still Iron Man or not. <laughs> How dare you! We are older than either of these countries. This little German baby that's just started to like grow in the freaking 1700s. No. France? France? The mother that keeps on collapsing? I say nay to you also. <laughs> we almost finished this fucking annexation. Yup. <laughs> It was like one more year, guys. One more freaking year. Now we're in all of our beautiful, beautiful wars. Yes, we are. Still going. I'm not sure if it's still Iron Man. Maybe we should do more local file Iron Man games. I think you can still earn the achievements that way, and it will probably run a bit more smoother. Well. You get the full, long version of it all. The struggle. The help from chat. Helpful chat. Helping a poor little streamer. Achieve his goal of world domination. <laughs> it's so, it's so touching. <laughs> uh. From 30 to 70. Yeah, because now we're only paying 12%. Because our... We have a 40% reduction. Right now, actually. What is it? Wait a minute. Well, we... I wonder. We could get rid of this policy. Right now. And it wouldn't make a difference. At least it shouldn't. Because we have the 15% from being Austria. We have the 25%. Actually, never mind. It would make a difference, would it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, we aren't at tech 27 yet. Wait, never mind. We are. Development efficiency. Admin efficiency. Which now affects this thing. So it would actually make a difference. Holy shit. But it wouldn't make a difference. Because we get a 60% from atom efficiency, which stacks. So we don't even need the 20% anymore. I just want to try this. Because we have the influence ideas, which is 25%. We have Austrian ideas, which is 15%. And then we have the 100% or the 60% from technology. Which would mean that we are already at 100 without this. And the minimum is 12%. So let's see. No, it actually does make a difference. So add the policy again. <laughs> and somehow it is higher. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not sure how the fuck it's adding up. I, know, I don't know why it would make a difference. Because it shouldn't. And next everything. <laughs> uh, at least we can annex this bastard. And then we can... Now we can go to war with essentially everybody in Africa. Is there more wars? Oh no, I'm breaking a truce. I don't want to break a truce. Is there a war? Ah, oh, still breaking a truce. Okay, well, Air and the other guy will be a little bit later. Doesn't matter though, because we are... S shuffling a hun hundreds of thousands down into Africa. For the express purpose of ravaging everything. <laughs> so good. So freaking good. I bet I can annex Hungary. I would annex them after, because I don't want to strain my points too much. 
Which then I, I know we would have to be penalty again. But I don't want to risk straining my points. More than I already am. We need a few for Morocco. True that. True that. And we could declare on Morocco right now. I love it, 80,000 men just dying out there. 3.2. But it's alright. Flood! Flood! Flood in there, and we need to destroy all of these forts right away. Get one mercantilism. Yeah. You don't you lose your cores. If rebels succeed, you don't lose the course. And it's not just some provinces, it's all. Like, everything that they had a core on, they still remain have a core on. They just didn't core this stuff yet. No, you don't lose cores if rebels break free. If you let them free, you lose the course. Or if somebody else re removes a nation from you through a coalition war or something like that, they also get freed. But no nations ever get freed. I also love how they can just keep on walking. Even if there are now forts that would block their movement, they don't care. Because they were already ordered, they can just move wherever they want. Or wherever they were previously ordered. It's quite ingenious. <laughs> yes, I have experience with rebels making you break. When the event happened, as we call it, um, Russia broke free, well, Muscovy broke free, and a whole bunch of other nations broke free as well, as well as Crimea, and some, you know, just, the, in, and a big chunk of my Eastern Bloc broke free. And, well, I retained all my cores, which was fortunate, otherwise the, we'll probably have a game over. Ooh, I like how it looks now. It's green. Telling you, hey dude, there's something you should do, but it's a very good thing that you should do. Oh, so do you, you got an extra freaking diplomat. You got an extra diplomat. Oh, I love this game now. Ah, the new patch. More banners, because you can never have enough banners. Sure. We'll take the mission just so it's away. Overextension, almost gone. <sighs> this will be so great. They added a new one for not having cored everything as well. I mean, the high overextension was pretty good, but it's. Like, these banners are really great shortcuts. That's why I love them. So I love a one that doesn't, you know, so I don't have to go here and then here anymore. But I can just click the banner. That's awesome. Oh, I you know. That's because you have to manage your allies now. As opposed to before, where you can just, you know, call in everybody. Now you have to decide, do I want this guy or not? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Great Britain. Good. <laughs> oh, don't finish so soon. I'll finish so soon, it's hilarious. You're spending so little points. Ah, the satisfaction. <laughs> One would have messed you up, you can just call them in after.
Hey, I'm actually kind of confused. Why would not calling your allies mess you up? We can definitely win these wars within time to and next them all. It's certainly better. And it it makes a ton of sense and it just, it feels better as well, if you know, if you know what I mean. It feels better. It makes the AI more of a player in a way, as opposed to just the object you send at your enemies and are really pissed at because it didn't do what you wanted it to do. You know, you still abuse it, of course, but feels different because they will be able to do their own thing like friends won't just be crippled because they accidentally allied the player we all know allying the player is like the worst thing you can do as an AI it's like a death sentence in your allies later is always an option well not always but sometimes it's an option usually it's an option unless you mismanage your wars and you know what your mama said about mismanaging wars it's all your own fault And are they all like different religions as well? Nope. They all decided to follow the Protestant faith. Good job. You randos. <laughs> oh, it's a joy seeing such a huge nation easily annexed. I mean I'm I'm guessing Deplo annexation will be curtailed a little bit. To say the least, a little bit. Because this seems OP. Like now World Conquest seems... Like now knowing this change, World Conquest seems very easy. I'm gonna do a freaking Naxos World Conquest now. Naxos Master Race. Getting all the bonuses stacking. Diplo annexing as well as freaking coding cost. Naxos Master Race. Like an ally truce. Well, it, it still makes sense. Like an ally wouldn't come to your aid all the time if you just keep on abusing them. To Austria again. <laughs> well, Congress is hard. Well, this one essentially wasn't. Essentially. I'm saying essentially because, yes, I, I, it comes down to the why right now, but it's because I've been doing stupid stuff and experiments and other shit and, you know, united the HRE vassal hammer before I should have. But Nexus has very, very nice ideas. I 
And no, they're not quite Austrian ideas because they're more versatile. Like, they don't qu get quite as high of a reduction in either, but they get a reduction in both, which is, you know, it's pretty damn great. Fear me! Fear me! I probably don't have their port on. Nope. Nom 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 nom. Eat your course, Castile. You still bankrupt? Yes, you are. I don't care. Eat your freaking course. Eat your freaking course. Like, oh my god, what's happening? It's a flood. The flood of ages has come. Everybody run to the hills. Should be an easier way to give siege to France to your allies. Well, maybe. It's not that tragic. Usually you don't need to do it that much, except of course for your vassals to vassal feed. He's not a primary. No, he's not a primary. Good. Not so bad, because that means he doesn't want to peace out right away. Aww. So sad. So sad. No peace. What? I think this makes it more visible. The fact that it's a green one makes it much more visible. Ming has high liberty desire. Well, we have a spare diplomat, Ming. It's your lucky day. You can keep on improving relations. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not quite. I'm not quite as good as DDR Jake. Not just, just you know a smidge below him. A, a little bit, tiny bit, a little bit much. Anybody else in this war? Nope. Troll off. We'll be giving back to Castillo. Right away. So one more done. Now Castillo might get the idea to colonize again. So we should probably get a hold of even more provinces out here. Recall the colonist. How about we start with this one? Well, actually, that's a very bad one. They're all very bad, aren't they? And well, this one doesn't have a lot of natives. <laughs> the 
Yes, they did that. They released and freaking sold back right here. Freaking traders. Wait, Cheyenne is free? No. Why will you free Cheyenne, you fucking bastard? Okay. You can just protect her, Tim. Offer them protector chip. And it will all be fine. Because they're next to a protectorate, they will protect her easily. Once we finish these wars, of course. Which will not be a huge issue. Just give what to Great Britain now? Which again? Well, I guess they did. Newfoundland did get there in the end, so maybe. I'll just declare war on them, I guess. The religion tab. We have nearly 2,000 freaking provinces. We have more provinces than all the rest combined. By far. Protestant Protestantism rules! Rule the freaking world! Of course, now I have to wait forever for my diplomat to return. much more visible. I mean, right now it's hidden, but... Are those the last provinces, really? Really? Interesting. And my vassals keep some safe from the hammer of justice, the Dar Hour. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, look, we could switch to a revolutionary empire now. <laughs> Who doesn't want some infantry shock? I'll be so tired tomorrow. Worth it. I think. Oh, so war with me, right? Yes. So we need to get to them. As soon as Great Britain is done, I have no more issues. Let's give it to Newfoundland directly. just need to hope that none of these escape vassalage or protectorate status. Should get like a major notification one. 
whenever they start to westernize. I mean, I especially love our solution for Castile. I think that is a work of art. Make them fall apart to rebels, revassalize them, kill off their colony, and then feed them back all of the land that they lost to rebels. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And of course the amount we're spending on colonies. How many colonies do we have? Uh, four colonies. <laughs> Imperial Brazil. Oh wait, we have a colony back here. of an imperial nation say okay, January 56 August 1816 integration is a slow process everybody now I'm curious about the colonies they are disloyal Huh. Why are you so upset? Well, we got all of their colonies. We got British... Col we got the 13 colonies. We got British Mexico. We got Newfoundland. And we got British Louisiana. So why are you so upset? I mean, Ming we know, but this guy. Tariffs 90. Who does this? Who puts 90% freaking tariffs on? No. Fuck off. How much would they have without the tariffs? Without the tariffs, they would be around 25%. Tariffs 50. Without the tariffs, they would be around 40. And Castile is upset. <laughs> so be it. Can improve relations with them later. And this guy turned into a protectorate of us. They didn't change name. No, they don't. I thought at one point they said they would make them change color. But they never changed color. Like, I'm fairly sure that in one of the developer blocks they were like, yeah, we're gonna make them change color. Which would be awesome. Also, this is so awesome. What is especially awesome is right here. Oh, 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 shit. George on my mind. Hey, there's this coincidental thing. Apparently I never owned all the Georgias before. I'm gonna get wrecked. When was this? <laughs> so we got a bunch of unhappy guys, but I I still highly doubt that any of them will declare independence as long as we I mean aren't they forced to declare independence? Like the thirteen colonies, wouldn't they be forced to declare independence right now? I mean we can change their name, I guess. So let's do subject interactions and 
Um, we can waste some... Some points on getting the worst out of these colonies. It would be great if they would annex into the colonies, yes. Come on, Vassal Interaction Tap. Okay, so the actual colonies aren't here yet. I bet they will be there at the end of the month, maybe? I'm not sure why they wouldn't be here. Oh, never mind, they, change, they changed flag. They did change flag. So that's good. So I was I was searching for a British flag. I'm an idiot. So I'm searching for the 13 colonies. 13 colonies right there. Ugh. <laughs> uh, why is it so expensive to decrease tariffs? Why is it more expensive to decrease tariffs than to increase tariffs? God fucking Damn it. Well, screw you, game. I'm just gonna continue. Oh, they're gonna remain at 100. Because England, that freaking idiot, spent. put tariffs up to 90%. <coughs> ah, excuse me. And at 100%, they could declare independence while at war. Do you like me yet? No. <laughs> They're still this loyal. <laughs> it's not broken. We can see the causes of it clearly. Like 90 freaking percent tariffs. Like, my colony is never rebel because I never raise tariffs because tariffs are a pittance. Especially since, you know, high liberty desire, so they give us nothing. As opposed to these colonies, which, you know, sure, it's not a lot. It doesn't matter. Most of the money we get from them comes from trade. Like the trade that just naturally flows to Europe is a lot more than tariffs would ever be. You don't even have to really pull from it. <laughs> 200 freaking ducats, 200 freaking ducats, 200 freaking ducats. And we have a 3 million force limit, everybody. That is 1 million, 2 million, 3 million men that are currently roaming. A large part of which is roaming the African landscape. You are very well aware how that looks like a freaking wave. A wave of red, white, and red stripes crashing against the African nation's borders, overrunning them. They have no chance whatsoever. This is no one with radio cheese. <laughs> uh, and we can still get get the achievement as well because we just got the Georgia on my mind fully own all three Georgias I don't know what that means like I only know one Georgia 
two Georgia. I don't know which the third Georgia is. New Georgia Island. Wait, what? New Georgia Island? What? Oh, South Georgia. Probably this one. What is the hardest country to beat? <laughs> I never knew that one. I was just like, which Georgia? Uh, it was probably Ming. I mean, not because of how many men they had. In terms of men, none. I couldn't tell you which country was the hardest to beat because we, we just hammered them down anyways. Like, whenever somebody would, like, beat some of our men, we would just, just be like, Oh, no, okay, let's get 10 more 30 stacks and run over them. So it was probably just Ming because of their sheer size. You really want to get there early. Other than that, we didn't really have any problems. Oh, no, our colonies. Russia. Russia wasn't very hard to beat. Oh, we can construct the Panama Canal now. Yay! It will finish after the time frame, but hey. We did something with our money. Finally. <sighs> Fucking flags don't update on the map. Panama? Panama? Can we see the Panama Canal, please? No, we're constructing it anyways. And it's probably not gonna finish, but who cares? Oh, they're already loyal. Huh. Probably because we gave them so much land. They're like, thank you, thank you, good sir. Can we have some more? Yes, of course you can have some more. That's what I'm here for. I'm a big fat Santa Claus with a big fat beard. Damn it. What about Katina? Katina can probably be eaten right now, right? Katina. Yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> uh, no, because they were my union. A union, I, I put them under a union very quickly. It was just, it was just one quick war. How did I defeat their navy? I'm pretty sure I just didn't. I had a fairly big navy up here at that point. I moved it over, I sent, sent 50,000 troops down there and just ducked up my na navy and the 50,000 troops were able to siege on the capital and defeat his army. He was also under tech, I remember that one. Because of his awful, awful beginning ruler, he was still under tech at that point in time. So the 50 stack that we sent over real quickly was a plenty to eradicate him from existence. So can I get a good siege leader please? Let's roll for one. Okay. I'll take the two. I'll take the two siege. That will do. That will do, baby. That will do. <laughs> the hardest nation to beat was my own stupidity. There we go. When I s said, you know, 600 overextension, that's fine. We just need to deal with it quickly. And then I didn't deal with it quickly enough. And we had... Oh, 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 millions of rebels. And I have dealt with millions of rebels before, but usually I can just, you know, let the vassal that has those millions of rebels die. And then be sad about having a vassal die. And England is hard to beat if you don't have the navy to do it. 
If you have the navy to do it, England is a cakewalk because usually they don't have their troops at home. England is usually too stupid to keep some troops at home and just send them all to the new world. Or somewhere. Frankly, I don't know where they usually sent them. But they're usually not in England. That much I know. Hmm. Roll again. Roll again. No, it's fine. Just send them some more troops. <laughs> yes. Foothold, either you go... If it's very early, you can get a foothold with one of the Irish miners. And then use that one to jump over to Scotland. And once you have Scotland, you can just land, you know, 100,000 troops there if you want. Or if, you know, if you have. Whatever. Or, you know, just more troops than England has. And just crush them. Or, if, of course, if you have a bigger navy, you don't need to do such underhanded tactics. We just need to switch it all over to Castile again. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Ah, Austria OP. We can all agree that Austria is way OP, especially with the changes. Because while everybody benefits from all the, you know, annexation cost reduction, Austria is insane. Especially being able to do it at Tech 17 and, you know, Tech 17 means you get 20%, 20%, 15%, 25%. So we can get an 80% freaking reduction on Tech 17 already. Holy Fuck. Oh yes, I do that. I did that a lot for the Big Blue Blob campaign when I did that one. I oftentimes did that, where you just send over somebody. Like in the sometimes in the first war versus England, I could get a foothold right there. Why? Because I had Castile as an ally, and England sends down his navy to deal with Castile, and then he can't really deal with you. Or one of the best things is if he hurts his navy against Castile. Like, he really hurts his navy. And he loses uh, one or two ships and a ton of them get damaged. Then he moves it back to, his, to a home port to repair. You have about three to four months where he will not interfere with your fleet movements. You can just put a fleet right here and just let troops walk across to Kent. Because he's not going to come out. Unless his ships are fully repaired, he's not going to come out. I don't know why. But that's what he did in the last two patches at least. So that's another way to get a hold of the island. That one is a lot more shaky, of course. But it works! And I love it! Uh, vanilla U4. I love you. Especially if I get a World Conquest in now. The one with such an awesome end. Like making Castile eat all of his old lands. Oh, I'm almost giggling like a little girl. Oh, so we have some more merchants. that trade is really just coming my way anyways. It's hard to find somewhere where it's not coming my way right now. <laughs> it's like I really, really don't care. Just 
it's all coming my way anyways. We're collecting 200 up here, 250 down here, 140 there. I think we're doing fine on trade. We're doing just fine. <laughs> only six years left it's not a bad thing only six years left if you have paid attention to what we are doing here we are literally just cleaning up like we have the entire freaking world right now this is my empire welcome the world power. There's a couple of protectorates which we need to watch out for, and it would suck if we would have to vassalize them, but we could. You know, well, it doesn't take that long to freaking destroy some people. There's the new colonies. They are not in our wars right now, but they will join our wars. Yao and Air. Yao and Air. We'll declare on well as soon as the truce are up, which you know, 1816. That's a plenty of time to finish these wars. They have very very little in terms of castles, well they have one big castle, but we can just ram it down with so many cannons. They're gonna feel their butthole for years to come. And all of this land here can safely be sold to our good friend Castile. Reminds me, I should probably subsidize Castile. Seeing how he's in a state of chaos and disarray, I don't know how a nation manages to bankrupt himself after we give him such... I mean, yeah, yes, right now it, makes, it will make sense because we left him to die to all his rebels. But before... Before we gave him so much money... There you go. 45 ducats. There. Did we just send it? I think so. Diplo expenses. Check the Diplo expenses. It will tell us. Steel gets 45 ducats. Gives a little bit of a relation, but mainly it will help them recover from their bankruptcy a little bit. Or, not really recover, but maybe they will recover from it in time and they won't, won't get back into it because 40 ducats is a shit ton. Castile's course, Castile's course, Castile's all the course need. What happened with Great Britain? We annexed it. <laughs> we switched to the new patch, and it turns out the new patch makes world conquest even easier. Well, there is the AE if we become big. But if you become huge, then the AE doesn't matter anymore. Like, thousands of AE? Who cares? Now, again, we switched to a new patch. On the new patch, there's admin efficiency. For And the admin efficiency counts for annexations as well. <laughs> ah, cheesy indeed. And now because we destroyed all of Castile's little buddies... Can absolutely feed in everything back. I mean, cheesy and Swiss, I can agree. So, I'm gonna get the achievement? Probably. I mean, we're getting achievements right now. Also, I'm most likely only going to play local saves now. Why do I even play freaking cloud saves? In the first place, well actually because that's how I started Iron Man. And there were only cloud saves available at that point. But now because you can get achievements without cloud saving, why would I not do that? Utilize that option. I'm gonna be finishing soon. Yes.
Why didn't I keep Switzerland alive? <laughs> uh, why would I? Why would Switzerland matter in any way, shape, or form to me? There's no reason for them to matter. They're meaningless. At least it is campaign. Oh, let's not forget Jane. Jenny! Jenny, give me money and give me your land. Now, if we need to police Castile, which we probably will, we don't care because. <laughs> Almost important. Look at how much land we have. You know what? I'm gonna wait until we declare the next war. Because then it's even less likely that any of them will declare on us. There. Can declare on you right now. Show superiority. Boom. You so fuck. You so fuck. He said, fuck, even your mama tell you fuck. <laughs> yep, that's essentially it. Also, form the HRE, become huge and don't care about manpower anymore because you have all of Germany backing you up. <laughs> Because if you have all of Germany backing up, you probably don't face any more manpower problems. Once you get into the millions, you can just handle them by not stacking too many troops in one province. You know, gaining nearly 20,000 each and every single month. It's very hard to run out of manpower that way. I mean, I managed it at one point, but that was because of circumstances. Care. We we're just blocking off Castile for a little bit there. Okay, we can peace out Cabo, I think. Now it turns out we can't actually annex Cabo fully. I'm kidding. I mean, they kind of nerfed admin efficiency because it's only going. Actually, never mind. They increased it. I thought it was going to 75%, but I think that was some patches ago or something like that. No, it was only on to 50%. I was thinking with the 25 from the policy. Anyways. No, my friend, it's not the end of the world. It's the beginning. It's the beginning of a brave new world. A world ruled by strong warriors. Germans. Germans everywhere. Austrians flooding over to the new world. No, go back to the culture map mode. That's right. It would be beautiful if they would start to convert stuff to Austrian now. But I don't think it works that way, does it? No, it's still English. Oh well. <laughs> we strong. We be strong. Oh no 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 no! Do not ignore mercs. Mercs are your central basis. If you're not playing one of those insanely strong nations, you need mercs. And the best, you know, way you can deal do mercs is essentially all infantry mercs and then have everything else be made with manpower. Oh, stream master race. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Uh, almost. Well, there's a little bit of Austrian in me as well. <laughs> and by a little bit of Austrian, I just mean I have an Austrian grandma. That's it. It's my entire connection to Austria. 
<laughs> uh, uh, a lot of people are like, I'm 1 16th that and 1 32nd that. I'm just like, oh god, shut up. You're one thing and one thing only. You got the American. Why are they, have they such a huge aversion to just walking through this uncolonized beautiful land? Anyways, finish this. You're <laughs> 100% lizard. That sounds about right. Why do I want to keep on clicking on them? I need to wait up for the truce. Truce is still there. When will it end? When will it ever end? August. So, next turn? Next trick month, please? Give me. <laughs> Global tears. Global tears plus 10%. Well, that's very nice of you. So fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Give me a better advisor. <laughs> you said to remove kebab before it was cool. <laughs> Pretty sure all the European th kids thought it was very cool to remove kebab at the time. They were like, oh my god, you removed infidelity kebab? Get it? It's like deli. <laughs> like a deli, like a sandwich store. So it's infideli. Are you westernizing? Better not be westernizing. There we go. That's what we need. Now am I going to a next hungry in time? Maybe. Who knows? It's only probably not. The answer is probably not. We first need to get the relations up. I mean, we would have the relations almost already. All we need to do is not declare on meow. Which we will be able to do next month. So that means as soon as we have his capital, we will be done. I think this guy had his fort on, didn't he? Yep, fort level 7. But Yao will not. There will be no fort here. So Yao will be very, very easy to take out. <laughs> well, we did find him after all, right? Get me a goddamn advisor, freaking maggots! Also, once half the world, or once ninety-five-eight percent of the world, can only field freaking three million troops. I mean, that does kind of make sense because we are barbarians and you know never improve anything, and we're just doing it. Absolutely horrific style. Like the world will be in dark age right now. They're like there's only one true faith. There's only one true fate. None other are permitted. If you follow any other fate than ours, go to the designated reservations in our client states. Wait a minute. Could I do that to Hungary? Probably could. Hungary. <laughs> Think if it all to Castile. If it all to Castile. It's 
So the achievement will probably proc right away as soon as we have all of this given to Castillo. At least I hope. No, 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 no. You may now make a giant client state. Already have pretty damn big client states. They're not concentration camps, they're just designated areas for them to live. I mean, they have humanist ideas in these areas. So, so they're very humane, they're humanists. But we are not. So get out of, you know, most of the world and get into one of these beautiful areas, to be fair. We got them some beaches. We got them some, you know, deserts and mountains. I mean, holy shit, they have parts of the Himalaya. Not the more touristy parts, of course. So. Dun 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 victory for us. Um, hmm. Get in there. Get in there, my shitty air. Shitty air. Church power. And give it all to Castile. We'll probably not be able to handle it and have tons of rebels, but who cares? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, coastlines. Coastlands full of tsunamis. And tropical disease. Okay, maybe maybe there's a master plan that has something to do with tsunamis and disease. But I don't have to know. Dun, dun, dun. The achievement is here! The achievement is here! Also, actually no tsunamis on this front, aren't there? I mean, usually there aren't any. Well, at least not heavy ones. It would come from over here-ish. Anyways, we got the achievement, guys. We finally got the freaking achievement. So close, we will evolution. <laughs> uh... GG, everyone. GG. It's a bit of work. We had to migrate the safe. I wish we would have known about that earlier. <laughs> now manufacture a world conquering tsunami. Hmm? Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Just wanna integrate you. Oh, personal units do count, but their sub subjects of subjects don't count. Um, what? Greek separatism, okay. <laughs> I guess that's a very end game thing. It is subjects of subjects that was the problem. So everybody that had a colony or any other form of subject, you know, like a protectorate, that was the problem. So we got rid of Great Britain, and next thing them gave us control over all of their colonies and their protectorate that they had. And then we let Castile fall, which gave us, like, we stopped helping Castile because Castile was already, like, falling apart to rebels. So we let them fall apart to rebels. We got 
colonial our uh, Brazilian or Castilian Brazil and ate that and in the war versus Castile to re vassalize them we got well rid of his colony over here that he had he had a colony so he didn't have any more colonies and then we could refeed him like on most of this he still has his cores that he made at one point so yeah it's pretty damn good pretty damn good he might get some rebellions but it shouldn't be too much yep over his bankruptcy no but he got over his negative negative stability that's big what's new what is new my friend <laughs> who is high in course here Somebody should just slap Great Britain, please. That'd be great. On oh, a Byzantine Greek event? I don't think it's new. It's probably been in there. I've never seen it before, but it's probably been in there. Also, one thing that always bothered me—we were not, we're not getting, or we're not getting treasure fleets from. Was it Peru? Well, now he's making a treasure fleet, I guess. Cool. He's making treasure fleets now. He wasn't for the longest time, which was concerning me. Oh no, our colony damage so bad. Go colonize Castile. I don't care anymore. You can colonize whatever you want. <laughs> Turn this into a one tag now. Proof relations with all the parties. Integrate as many nations as we can. We still have four years of Diplo war left. Fine, might only be one nation that we can integrate. I can probably integrate Hungary. They're not that big. Like they're much smaller than previous targets of integration. I'm really not sure how we'll cut this video because I'll have to cut it in post-production. Uh, which is just awful. Maybe I'll just put it up as a feature. A feature-length three-hour video bonus content. <laughs> also, how long? <laughs> 1820. That is with 13 power each month. We have zero overextension. Zero provinces to conquer. And zero reason to continue. We know that we could annex Hungary. <laughs> Me doing a one tag? Yeah, sure. Sure thing. No, but that will be it for today. We have conquered the world. As one of the easiest nations to do so. <laughs> we would be able to annex Hungary in time, but nobody else. Doesn't matter. Still good enough to know. And I hope you all have a very, very good night. I'll be back tomorrow with some The Witcher 2. And of course the day after with a new campaign. And what will the new campaign be? Well, I don't know. Be there to help decide. Or probably be a mine campaign. Because I really, really want to do a mine campaign. Either that or I'm gonna do do a another achievement run. One that should be more successful. Should also do a bunch of small achievements or runs at some point. Oh well, anyways. Have a good night. Show you show you ideas? Sure. Sure I can show you ideas. I can show you ideas, Korokan, just for you.